Hello, YouTube. Yes, once again, welcome to the depression. Thank you for your subscription to the channel and also your contribution. Today, we are looking at one of the questions that has been asked by so many people, and I had to make it as a video so that others can learn on it. But I answer the question in the video. Somebody asks, what is the maximum load that a generator can manage? To explain this in a very video form, so that you can learn the maximum load you require for a particular generator to carry. Let's use this illustration. This is a graphic code presentation of a generator. We have a sum structure here, which is this is a generator. This is the electric motor. Now, I have here the power regulator, or you can call it a switch, that enable the switching to take place. Then, beside here is the batteries. Initial that enable the initial supply to be carried out. Why? Because the batteries have to power start or you can use the snap power source. But what we talk about here is just for illustration. Now if you go here you see what I call the automatic power regulator. Then if you go deep can you see that there is the feedback between the batteries and then the power regulator. There is a communication point which is very important. Then there is a bed here. This is the bed which is what you see here. That enable the system to run completely. Then the base. This is the base. This is a, just an illustration about how this generator system works. Now, the question is now, what is the maximum capacity you can load? Let's use for instance, you want to, you have 10 kV a generator, and then we estimate that the electric motor will take 2 kVA for its running system from the generator because the remember the electric motor fear from the system the electric motor fear from the system so the electric motor remove the 2 kVA from it to work on its own what we have now left is 8 kVA which is the the generator capacity now because 2 kV has been removed by the electric motor to work then we have 8 kV now you have the entire load you have which is what we have it now here yeah. the allo system is let me assume that you have 12 kV load system now in that kind of case you can load all you have AC, air conditioner, you have a refrigerator, you have an heater, and then we assume the old system, you have an iron, the old power consumption in your house is up to 12 kVA. This kind of capacity you have in kind of low system, you have to do it because already the generator is 10 kVA. You subtract 2 kVA from it for the, uh, the electric motor to use. You have 8 kVA. The 8 kVA, you should have at least 1 kilowatt as a reserve. What is left now is 7 kVA. That is your consumption system or electric consumption rate. And then your load in your house is 12 kVA. What is expected is 
for you to reduce the load to conform to the generator computation rate. So the question now is that as it as what is the maximum load that the generator can manage? The maximum load the generator can manage it depends on the capacity of the generator. That's a simple question I can answer. The maximum load a generator can carry, it all depends on the capacity of the generator. So if a generator is that which is 10 kVA, your maximum load should be at least 7 kVA because 1 kVA should be used as a result. So if you have 20 kVA, your maximum load should be at least 70 kVA because one, the electric motor will definitely get a supply from the generator here. Then, the when electric motor gets supply for the generator, maybe assuming electric motor for 20 kVA is 3 kVA is what electric motor consume. You need to have another extra one kilowatt as power reserve. It all depends. You can also you can have half of it, have one as a power reserve. Then because sometimes the generator coil may not give you completely the quote you want. Depend on the the the, the coil the what they use, the copper they use in doing the coil. Sometimes you may have 10 kV as the total capacity of the generator, but the output ratio may be 9 point something kV. Now, if the generator, the electric motor definitely the feed from the generator takes as many 2 kV or 2.5 kV, you have less you know the demand the what is left then you calculate the load you have if the load you have is up to 10 kva you can do it all you must switch off some things for instance you may switch off the ac when that ones are running, running or you can switch off the refrigerator when the ac is running or you can switch off the heater when the ac and the refrigerator is work is running this is how you manage your consumption rate. You cannot load all the generator, you cannot load all the capacity at the same time. You cannot load all the commission rate at the same time because the generator may not carry all. And if, for instance, now let's go to this place now. If, for instance, now this is the regulator system that tells the pressure rate. Generator. By the time this your voltage system, for instance, now this is move reach is 200, is 200, a move from 200 to 300, which is the maximum. If you load, if you feel put more things in your generator, in your house, if you put more things in your house, this bar will go back down, will go down. To what something to 100 or in between 100, which is maybe 150 or depend on what. So, for you, is if anything below 100, it will not it will affect the electronic system, it means the generator is validated. So, you look at the ratio at which it runs, you look at the ratio of your meter. When I'm talking, in case you don't have tester to test the output. You use the meter to the code to know what you are doing. If the AC voltage system drop so low, what it means is for you to switch off some of your appliances. This is to enable the generator run smoothly. And for you to do that, you look at the capacity of the generator look at the rate at which it's can carry and then know what exactly you're loading that is where this matters let's take a look at 
some of the operation which we have made on Genetron and see how it works. This will help you to understand the more. Pre design you see the motor here, you see the alternator here, and see the flower here. Now, in these three designs, you will know that there are three things in common now, and that is the, the motor, the flyway, and the alternator. Now, the bed now link the flyway and the motor. Now, if you look at very quickly, you see that this is a small size of motor. Somebody will ask, why this small size? Will this small size carry this capacity of this bit alternator? The question is, yes. Remember, I said earlier, it is not the size of the motor that determines this the production ratio, but what matters most is the the RPM at which the motor runs. If the motor runs in a very high speed, definitely it will be able to generate the light required. So it does not really mean if you are using a small generator, like small motor like this, and uh, therefore you will not get what you want. No. You can still get what you want. It's not the size. What matters most is the rotation speed, the rate at which this runs. That is what is meant most. Now that is what you can see also here. Now you see this is the the alternator and this is the motor, the flyway, and all this works together in configuration with the structure. And when this is properly done, you definitely you will get the result you want. It is easy to get this thing done if only you follow the procedure required for you to design this energy. Sometimes people will say, ah, why is this one difficult? Why is it not? It's not difficult. It's because you have not understood what is needed to do this design. If you have followed the procedure or explained, if you are going to my playlist of videos, uh, pick uh, those videos that concern you and then study them, go over it over and over again. You understand the picture about what it means to design. The three things that I need to design in the generator are all listed in many questions and explain over them and over and over again. Just go over it, go through the my playlist video and you see different things. Now you know, I'm saying now the simple design and its work. Now if you look at this place now is this is where is the switch over. What this switch over does is that the switch over enables you to change from the external power source to the internal power source. I explain what external power source is. For instance, if you want to start it in at initial time, you need a particular power to start it on. And that power enables the motor here to run. And when the motor runs, uh, after some few minutes, just like two or three minutes, you will now switch over to the internal power source, which is the, the one that comes from the generator. At that point in time, now the switching over is done using this device as well you see this device attached here to enable the switching be possible so you cannot see that this is just an easy thing to be done and does not require some technical work or anybody can do it anybody can do free energy generator anybody can do it all you just need to do is to have the understanding on how these things work and if you have the understanding you follow the procedure Category of the typical view of this now. If you look at typically, you see that this is the 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 cable that enable the power source to be released, the snap power to be released, and this is the snap power source here. When this cable now, when this cable is this source is entered here, and you plug it here, which let us start it begins, start running. Then when it runs for some time now, you now do what we call switching, you switch over from the external power to and then go ahead and do what they want to do. Now the reactor has moved because it has generated power for some time. You see, now you now switch back. At this time, I see that it's now. See the speed. Now, see, uh, now, let's take a look. Now I see. You can see the, the, the voltage rate. This is about how many? You see where it is now, to the highest point. That is to tell you the the motor is generating the is is running at a mass at the maximum rate. The rate at which the motor moves is very high. That is why you see the the this meter indicator move the least move to the to the end of this uh, of this uh, 
a generator of this meter. That's what you are saying now. This. Is it, uh, that is 300 plus. 300 plus. Yeah, now. At this point now, 